Nature was really incredible when it invented milk. You could consider it one of the original comfort foods, right? It's milk. Ah, milk is a, milk is a tremendous ingredient. Most of all, the product must taste good. Taste is king. It started about 25 years ago when dairy farmers nationwide chose to start the Dairy Research Center system and establish dairy, dairy research centers across the country and the Midwest Dairy Foods Research Center was one of those initial centers. And part of the purpose of that program was to do research on dairy products. Which would translate into something practical that would be a benefit for the entire dairy industry. Farmers, processors, ingredient suppliers. Industry gives the idea, dairy centers do the work, and the farmers uh, provide the funding to do the work. It really is about pooling resources. It's about finding benefits that will be for the farmer, for the industry, and for the university. They all get something out of it. And so by working together, they get to market faster. The product gets to the consumer faster, which helps the dairy farmer in the end. The real technical part of how the microbes and stuff work are over our heads. But the, the total results of the project we understand. And like we as dairy farmers, we can contribute to what the end we see. We have equipment and pilot facilities available. So when a company has a concern or even a new idea, that they want to try to create something new, we have facilities available for them to utilize and, and rent. But also the staff of the center are around. So being a member helps you because you not only get to the facilities, but you get the expertise behind them. We are careful that a lot of the research is on a pre-competitive nature, so we're not uh, getting into an area where I think we're offering advantages or uh, you know anything from one brand versus another. It is on a pre-competitive basis, something that would benefit everyone. Their small investment as a center member can pay huge dividends to their company, whether it's saving them problems, increasing their efficiency, or helping them create new products. Part of those research dollars and part of this research center is that we're, we're being able to utilize every drop of milk that's produced. We call it milk refinement, where um, milk has a vi value by itself, right? But in some cases, we can take that milk and break it into components, and we've got more value from the components than we had from the original milk. And innovation is being able to take one raw ingredient and make many. What's in the future? Well, we definitely know that the global marketplace is expanding. And all that, the future's really good. Uh, because they've, they've been effective, they will be effective, and, and uh, they can carry on. There's so much more that will be discovered and that will be changed as we go forward. I can see things that are happening right now. The researchers are, are just putting ideas out there that um, when they come to fruition, it'll be interesting. The Research Center has been working at trying to enhance the value of the dairy-derived products for the industry. And they have been successful at it. And I, I see the continuing success, success there. They've improved the processing, they've improved the technology, uh, improved the stability. Personally, I think we've just scratched the surface of what we can do with the center. Doing what's best for the dairy farmer, for the dairy industry. What would I tell the farmers that fund the center? Your investment is invaluable to everyone who's a part of the center. You're training up young people to be the future of the industry, and you're solving the problems of today and looking forward to the future of what dairy can bring. What's your favorite milk?